Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan coming to you from the 2015 San Diego Comic Con, and I am here with Dan Lujan at the Kotobukiya booth to talk about the latest products they have on display. So first things first, how's it going, Dan? It's going good. It's going good. The traffic's beginning to come our way here. It was a little slow in the morning, but now it's beginning to filter this way as people head out for yeah. the day, and we're getting a lot of a lot of traffic, a lot of uh, interest in what we have as always. So we're really happy for that. That's fantastic, and you guys have a lot of new things that are on display here. So let's start talking about it. What yeah. do we got here? Yeah, let's jump on it right in. So we're showing the red hood for the first time fully painted. We, we'd shown the, the sculpt online a few couple of months ago, but this is the first time in public we're showing the red hood fully painted, highly requested character. Uh -huh. And the response has been tremendous. What we've seen so far through our social media channels and through the forums and what have you, people are really excited about this line. And in general, the Bat family. So we're actually going to also be offering the Red Robin, which was very uh, highly uh, um, requested character. So now with Red Robin, Red Hood, and all the Batman characters, you can really build that Bat family. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you guys gave us Alfred here at Comic-Con, which is such an essential character to the family overall, kind of that father figure almost. So it's really cool to see how you guys are really building out this whole Bat family for our collections. Yeah, I, and I think Alfred was a great exclusive because it, it was a piece that was needed but it, it's, it's one of those pieces that if you're a fan of the Bat Family, you definitely want to get. But it's one that you may be able to live without, too, yeah. if you prefer just to stick strictly to Batman and Nightwing and those type of characters. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the same way I was thinking of him. But, and I love him. I think he turned out great. Thank you. Thank you. And so down in this case here, we have uh, the, our three exclusives for the show. Red She-Hulk. Um, this is... As you review, this is not just a uh, repaint, but this, there's actually some new tooling in this particular Bashojo statue. It was limited to 1,500 pieces. We're just about sold out. I think we wow. only, we're, we're down to our last dozen or so. So it's been great. It's, it's Friday, and we're practically sold out of this piece. Uh, we've got our Deadpool chimichanga version, and as you uh, reviewed, he comes with head pull, a different faceplate, um, and then the actual chimichanga in his hand. A lot, a lot of fun with that one. Yeah. And then Alfred, as we just met, uh, talked about here, our artifacts plus uh, brand new tooling, brand new character, and uh, all three. Just the response has been great. Excellent. So for our Star Wars Artifacts Plus series, we're adding several new characters to our Hoth wave. First up will be our Snow Trooper 2-pack. These are expected sometime in October or November of this year with a suggested retail price of $84.99. You get two statues in the, in the box and enough pieces to do several poses, actually four distinct poses. That's awesome. Yeah. So similar to what we saw with the Storm Troopers and the Sand Troopers. Yeah, yeah, and just like all Artifacts Plus in this series, they've got magnets in their feet. They include the uh, black square base so you can maneuver them wherever you'd like, create some really nice scenes. Uh, especially when you add the AT-AT driver, so another character being uh, included in this wave. Uh, he's expected to arrive sometime this winter, December, okay. uh, with a suggested retail price of $64.99. And he comes with enough pieces to do three distinct poses. Oh, cool. As you see here with his rifle uh, lowered, he can be pulling on his glove or he can be standing at attention. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And for the first time, and I've been really waiting to be able to say this, we're happy to announce that we'll be supporting the Force Awakens with product. Yes. 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 I bet we're about to see an onslaught of Force Awakens stuff everywhere. Yeah. So it's awesome that we're going to get the Kotobukiya treatment too. Yes. Yes. And um, you can expect uh, uh, some really neat and exciting reveals come September 4th, I believe, right? Yep, Is that Force Friday that's that's that I'm Friday. hearing? Yep. So we, we got a lot of cool things in the works. Maybe even build a, a special website just to showcase everything that we'll be doing. So I'm real excited uh, this fall to, to be able to talk more in depth with you and your fans about The Force Awakens. Excellent. It's going to be a lot to talk about come uh, Toy Fair time. Yeah. I'm sure you have lots of stuff to show For us. For sure. And in uh, New York Comic Con too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a, lot of, a lot of news to, to, to discuss. Excellent. Star Wars is going to be very exciting this year it looks like. Yep. Okay, so for our Marvel Fine Art statue line, and Fine Art is a numbered edition made out of cold cast porcelain. We've got a brand new entry and a first time reveal here at San Diego Comic Con, and that's Black Panther. Nice. Yeah, it's one of those characters that I feel has been in dire need of some more collectibles out there. There's not a whole lot of Black Panther, so we're working with the same sculptor, Eric Sosa, and I think he's done a terrific job of, of creating the, uh, this pose for, for Black Panther. Absolutely. And it's good timing, too, since we're about to start seeing him in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. So, you know, start getting some of this classic comic book stuff out there, too. Sure, sure. Um, our next uh, product that will be hitting retail will be Rogue. We're looking at sometime this fall. 
Uh, brown uh, costume Wolverine is currently available at retailers, and we have uh, a full line of uh, characters that we're looking to unveil in the coming months. The next reveal is scheduled to be at New York Comic Con. Awesome, very cool. And for our Artifacts Plus line, Marvel, um, comic series. We're again working with artist Adi Grabnov, who just came by the booth today to uh, to see these uh, uh, particular statues, and he was just so impressed with what we've been able to do with his artwork. And we're so impressed with the artwork that he does. So it's it's a great relationship that we have with, with the artist. So we're showing Cyclops, Emma Frost, Magneto, and for the first time, Magic. That Magneto looks terrific. Yes. I think that's got to be my personal favorite in there. But they're all turning out very, very good. Everyone that I've spoken to has said the same about Magneto. I think it's really the entry point for this particular line. Yeah. They, It's like, okay, I'm going to get the Magneto and let's get everyone else. Yeah. And, and we've got actually Rogue coming up. Beast and Wolverine. So there's three more releases that we uh, need to, to show, plus we need to show Magic Painted. So, so in the coming months, there's going to be a lot of news happening with the Marvel X-Men Artifacts Plus series. Excellent. Very exciting stuff. Yeah. And over here, we're showing our Iron Man armors and Hulk from the Avengers Age of Ultron movie. Uh, we've got our Hulkbuster, uh, Mark 44, and Hulk. Uh, again, these are two statues you can put them together to create the scene that you see here uh, retail on the Hulkbuster is roughly $200 uh, suggested retail and then the movie Hulk is $69.99 so, yeah, really great scene we saw these for the first time at Toy Fair and it's yeah. just one of those things I've just been anxiously anticipating because oh, yeah. they look so good yeah yeah I mean everyone that comes by the booth and sees these pieces are just so amazed at, at what we've been able to do in this scene and I think the price is, is fairly reasonable for a collectible of this caliber so so, um, yeah, these will be hitting retail very soon, actually, in, in August. Okay. Um, for the Hulkbuster, we're already actually sold out. So if you, do, if you haven't been able to pre-order your, yours yet, I would uh, highly suggest that you find a site that still has them up for pre-order and, and go ahead and do that because I think once they do arrive, it's, it's going to be a very difficult item to find because yeah. they sold out so fast, yeah. We're also um, releasing the Iron Man Mark 43. Uh, this is an artifacts statue. Uh, we have an estimated arrival date of September, October of this year uh, with a suggested retail price of $139.99. He does light up in the eyes, the chest, and the uh, palms. And he looks gorgeous, too. I love just the metallics and everything on there. He really kind of shimmers. Yeah, I, I think this is the first time that we've actually done like a, a vac metalized base. Yeah. Uh, so um, it just comes to get a really nice, nice museum pose. And we'll actually be adding another Iron Man armor, the, the, the final armor from the Avengers Age of Ultron. I believe that's the Mark 45, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we'll be working on that and expect more news uh, about that particular uh, release in the coming months. Okay. Awesome. We see yep. Artifacts uh, line. We're, we're, we're going past the Trinity and now we're adding Flash. Nice. And um, as you may have heard, we had Jim Lee visit our store in Akihabara uh, and do a, a piece of art just for this series in front of a live audience. And we used that sketch and gave it to the same sculptor that worked on all, previous, all three previous statues to create this, uh, this particular um, statue that you see oh, here. That's fantastic, yeah. so cool. Yeah, and um, again, as you um, might be able to tell, it's got a, a, the base isn't final, but it will be a logo base, so it'll have the flash emblem on there. Yeah, and um, I think the response has been so great for this line, so it, you know, it goes without saying that I'm sure we'll see a Green Lantern eventually, and, and, it, and you know, you're really gonna be building out that Justice League uh, in that artifact scale, which is very popular with the collectors. And down here for Marvel, we've got a number of uh, Boshojo statues. And again, Boshojo roughly translates to pretty girl, beautiful woman. Uh, we're showing Lady Deadpool for the very first time in public. And we're also showing the interchangeable face portrait with her. So you'll be able to take off uh, the head with the mask and have her unmasked and then exchange the hands so she can actually be holding the mask that she just took off. That's cool. Yeah. Um, next up at retail is going to be Wash. She'll be hitting this fall with a suggested retail price of $69.99. Jubilee's out now. And then as you can see, the two She-Hulks, uh, She-Hulk and then the Red She-Hulk, which again is our San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. I just got to say that the, the wings on Wasp turned out gorgeous. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. they got this great kind of almost rainbow effect in there. Yeah, That's really yeah. neat. Yeah, we actually... Uh, 
we were happy to be able to do this during the manufacturing process. And we, we did an update through our Facebook page to show the fans that we could actually do that type of uh, translucent, iridescent look to the wings and add it to the wings. And so it, I think it really brings the character together. Yeah, absolutely. And, and a first time announcement here at the show that we'll be adding Spider Gwen to the Bashojo. And she's been a highly requested character. I bet. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I awesome. think the whole. Spider-Man and Spider-Verse is going to really explode next year, uh -huh. yeah, especially with his role in Civil War. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. For our DC Comics Superpowers collection, we've got all five uh, uh, characters here at the show. Superman will actually be hitting retailers this August, and again, price point's $29.99. These are not action figures, but as you may know, they are modeled after the original Super Powers line from the 80s. Uh -huh. And so we're just having a little fun with these and, and offering them at a very uh, uh, entry level price point for fans that, you know, are maybe, maybe new to statue collecting or are looking for something that's not going to bust their wallet, so to speak. So we've got Superman, Green Lantern, Flash, Batman, and Robin. And these will all be out by the end of the year. So you'll be able to have all five of these uh, characters on your shelf uh, by the holidays. Awesome. Yeah. And with Superman, as you can see, he comes with an additional arm part. So it kind of uh, mimics the action figure when you squeeze the original yeah. uh, toy's the, the legs. Punch. Yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. power punch. So that's what we've got here in the case. That's cool. So, uh, yeah, again, like I told you at Toy Fair, it's all about fun from the packaging to the design. It's, we're just having some fun um, and, and being able to offer uh, collectors the classic costumes at a very uh, affordable uh, price point. Yeah, they look really great. It's a really great scene. I'm just all together yeah. and fully painted. And the action feature interchangeable arm is just fun. Like yeah. you said, it's so fun. Great, yeah. And down here for our DC Bashojo collection, we've got Black Canary, which will be hitting retailers this fall. Uh, and then Raven, uh, which will be uh, this winter, December, January. And we've got Zatanna, which will be uh, actually arriving very soon, probably August or so. Um, and then a brand new announcement for this show is we're doing a Harley Quinn version two. Version two, So nice. our first Harley Quinn was based off of more of the classic costume. Uh -huh. This is more off of the New 52, uh, you know, a mo more modern costume gotcha. the character has been wearing. So, but I think it, it, I think it's it's been enough time has passed from the original release to now, uh, or when this product actually comes out, which will be next year. I think enough time has passed that 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 fans are ready for another version of Harley Quinn, and I think we want to do that with with a lot of the existing DC Bishojo. Uh, maybe another version of Catwoman or Poison Ivy. So fans that might have missed out from the first run and we're not you know, really looking to do those reproductions right now, we're looking to maybe re-offer a brand new sculpt with a brand new outfit. Excellent. Yeah. Very exciting news. Right over here we've got our two uh, statues for the Arkham Knight video game, the brand new game that just came out a couple of weeks ago. Uh -huh. uh, we've got the Batman and the Arkham Knight. And what's really neat about this uh, set of statues is that the bases are customizable. It's, it's, it's almost like Legos or Mega Bloks where you can kind of pull them apart and make the, your own scenes. You'll get enough pieces to do, uh, you know, at least one full scene where the character is either crashing out a window or running across a rooftop. But when you combine the two together or or when you let your imagination run, you can really do some neat things with these. Yeah. yeah. And we actually did some hands-on demonstrations here at the show, and everyone that was involved had a lot of fun putting together the pieces and creating their own scene for, for the statues. That is a really cool idea. I really like that. And another added uh, uh, feature is that, as you can see, there's a lot of like bullet holes and what have you in the actual uh, walls. Yeah. You, a lot of the, the figures that come out these days that are superposable, they come with a uh, clear rod of some type that you can actually stick into that hole, you know, as kind of a support for their pose. Uh -huh. So, so it's, it's versatile. It's, it's not just strictly limited to our Artifacts Plus statues, but if you have other brands, you can integrate it into this system to create a really nice scene. Oh, that is really cool. That is definitely going to be something to look forward to. I really like that. Yeah, a lot of, really exciting there. And down here, Brand new first time announcement. We're, we're, we're getting into the villains. Here comes the villains. Comes there we the go. Villains. So, our Justice League New 52 is complete. We've been doing the Bat Family. We've had a few uh, offsets, you know, not, uh, not offsets, but offshoot uh, uh, lines like Shazam uh -huh. and Black Adam. But, but now we've got Lex Luthor here, and this is the first of a villains line. So, we're looking to add these villains, uh, other villains, as the line grows to, to the line. 
Awesome. Very cool stuff. And Lex is looking fantastic. So it's going to be really great to get these guys on the shelf with that Justice League set. Yeah. We're we're I'm really looking forward to seeing what other villains we can add to the line. Yeah. So for our Street Fighter uh, Bashojo series, we're unveiling Poison, fully painted for the first time. Um, she comes with two different hand parts, so you can have her, as you see here, or she can be holding a pair of handcuffs off the tip of her fingers. Oh, cool. Yeah, and I think just for fans of, of Poison and, and Final Fight and Street Fighter, I think this is an essential piece that they will need to add to their collection. Uh, we also have got a brand new announcement uh, for the Street Fighter line, and it's uh, Ibuki. I hope I'm, I, I'm probably butchering yeah, that. I think it's Ibuki. Ibuki, yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll be adding her to to the Street Fighter line, uh, probably sometime next year. Okay. Um, Sakura will be arriving uh, this fall um, with a suggested retail price of sixty nine ninety nine. Chun Li and Cami are currently available along with Jury. Uh, and for Tekken, uh, we've got Anna Williams, which has just arrived uh, to retailers, so collectors can look forward to her um, arriving uh, or at retail right now. And we'll be uh, expanding the Tekken line to include the newest Tekken game, uh, which I believe is Tekken 7. Uh -huh. so, so we've got new announcements for that coming, too. Okay, very cool. Yeah. And Here's our Halo line, and, and this is a brand new uh, concept for us, so to speak. It's, it's a hybrid between an, uh, a figure and a statue. And what's neat about these particular releases is that what you get is you start off with a standard Spartan buck, or just the base body suit. And then you can add armor parts to that base uh, body suit to create the statues that you see here. And there is limited articulation, mostly in the head, the arms, and the torso. Uh, the, the, the legs are non-movable, and that's um, you know because of licensing issues, but that's where we get the statue uh, part of, of these Artifacts Plus. But it, but it has enough uh, flexibility uh, and posability in the upper portion of the, of the statue, so to speak, that you can create different poses, and especially when they're holding their, their various weapons. They look incredible. We saw these at Toy Fair for the first time yeah. also, but this is the first time we're really seeing them painted, yeah. and, and you can just see the way they all look with the armor assembled. These look like they're going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And actually, uh, I really love the, the uh, Halo base, as you can see here. It's got the uh, logo engraved in there. It's almost oh, cool. like a dog tag, yeah. you know, so it's really cool. Um, and we're going to be supporting Halo 5 Guardians, so a lot of exciting news happening uh, with Halo uh, in the coming months. Excellent. And for the first time, we're actually showing the artwork and the final sculpt and paint master for Tali Zora, a character that I've been real excited to see just evolve from just an early sculpt to what you see here. Uh -huh. So this is the third, I guess you could call it, entry into our Mass Effect uh, series. Uh, we had Liara, we had two versions of, of the uh, Shepherd, and now we have Tali Zora. So um, expect this piece to arrive early next year. And um, hopefully, if the reception is great, we can add another. So I'd, I'd really love to see maybe another female character from Mass Effect 3 added to this line. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And brand new, and, and this is something that, that just seeing this sculpt, it's just so amazing for me. Uh, and we had made this announcement previously, but now we've got Alien into our Artifacts Plus line. Incredible. Yeah, and, and this is our big chap here, and, and I, I'm, I'm sure that you can agree with me just looking at the details of this sculpt. It, it's just incredible. Absolutely. For everything from the dome to the to teeth to, to, the, to everything. Just the stance and everything is yeah. so perfect. Yeah, it, it, it's just a great representation of the classic air, uh, alien creature. Um, and so uh, pricing and availability will be determined on this piece, but most likely sometime uh, mid to late next year. Awesome. Now, do we know if this is just the first of more Alien Artifacts Plus products, or this is the f this is the first of of, of uh, there's there's two that I know of two okay. releases uh, for the Artifacts Plus. Plus, we have some other fun items planned for the Alien license. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, a movement and a lot of interest uh, uh, taking place uh, with the Alien uh, line in the coming months. That is awesome. Well, a lot of really great things on display. I love the Alien. Um, amazing stuff for DC and Marvel and Halo and Star Wars. I mean, you guys are really knocking it out of the park here with some amazing products. Yeah, it's just great to see the portfolio of licenses grow because, you know, as this company started with Star Wars and then Marvel and then DC and then now it's Halo, Mass Effect, Street Fighter, Tekken. 
you know, Freddy, Jason. It's just, it's just really a lot of fun to see all the different characters that we can bring into the line, either Artifacts, Artifacts Plus, yeah. Bashojo, and, and how, how our artists and sculptors uh, can create unique, you know, product, you know, for our fans. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Dan, thank you for once again taking the time to just walk us through all this awesome product so that everybody who's not at the show gets a good chance to kind of see it all up close. Thank you. And if your uh, viewers want to follow up and see uh, more extended images of what we've talked about today, you can visit us on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Okay. Excellent. Well, there you go, guys. There's a look at everything that Kotobukiya has on display here at the 2015 San Diego Comic-Con. This is Pixel Dan reporting. Stay up to date with Pixel Dan at San Diego Comic Con 2015. Follow at Pixel Dan on Twitter or forward slash Mandalorian30 on YouTube.com. Thanks for tuning in to your premier source for all things toys, Pixel Dan. See you again.